At Cedar Hill this weekend, we were working in an investiture where Cubs become scouts. This weekend, they would focus completely on the scout rank and trying to achieve that. If they, were, they show up for the full weekend, they will achieve the scout rank. They're camping indoors in bunks. They're learning how to function within the troop and within their patrol. The, another camp that was going on is the second class Griffins. They're working on their first class requirements. They're planning, prepping, and cleaning up meals, two of them. Their third meal was Pop-Tarts. How to pick a camp spot, knots and lashings. They worked on bowline, clove hitch, timber hitch, and then their lashings they worked on wrapping and frapping. The weekend was wet and windy. The boys did a great job, even though it was tough conditions. With the dropping temps, they made the best of it. Let's make it official. Put on your green at the left. That worked out well. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good. 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 Poker guard, bullets and colors. Then when I get it hooked up, then when I get it hooked up, then when I get it hooked up. Scout, right hand salute. Poker guard, raise the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pick a number between one and ten. Nine. Nine? Hmm. Hmm. He's nine back. He's nine back. Uh, yeah, Alex, come up. No, 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 you're still here. You're, just, you're, you're in front you're now. You're in front. Because we're playing number game. We're going to do it one more time. We play games. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the back of the line. You're in front. You're in front. You, you, you five come up. You five go back. Get back, you! Yes. Go for it. Do it like a pro. Bow line technique. Yeah. And then just get that hand out of the way. Pull it through and get the hand out of the way. Try not to pull this end of the rope, just pull this end of the rope and you're uh, Alright, good job, Lucas. One more time. One more time. Very good. Clove hitch. Very good. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> cheese? All right, set it on. Get some cheese. Did you cut the? Wait, no. Did you cut the cheese off? Cut the cheese off. What'd you do, guys? Okay, get the cut of cheese. Ryan, do you want cut of cheese? Here, I want you. Just get me. Okay. Wait, I'll do this one. It's gonna go. Ryan, second. Come on. Get it. In and out. So we get four. So we do more than four. Good. Good. Does it matter? Four, four, four is probably enough. But yeah, but, 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 but is, it, is it bad if we do more? It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. Unless you go extreme. You just don't want to go less than four. Yeah, okay. I would go at least four. It would just stiffen it. The more rest, the more stiff.
Alright, so is that four? Yes. Alright, so now... Nope, well first you're going to do some frapping. So what is it? What is a frap? Uh, uh, it's a... Uh, uh, that's where you burn the throat. Nope. The end of it. No, that's whipping and fusing. So a frapping is when you wrap around the knot. The Yo, the wraps vertical. So we this is so what wrapping? do you think what do you think that does when you wrap it? Oh, that makes it tighter. Bingo. Exactly. So you're gonna do that twice. You're gonna Wait, now when you're doing a frap, you want to pull it tight. As tight as possible. As tight so as possible. It adds tension. That's what tightens side. the knot. Yeah. Yeah. So do that twice. Yeah, Did so you, you do, do that twice? Yeah. Okay, do that twice, and then you're gonna do this one twice. <laughs> nope. You can, I would go around here and then back down through here. So take it through here. And then wrap around there twice. Nathan, you're on standby. You're on deck for the slow pitch. Alright, so you got two around there. Alright, you got it good and tight. And then you're going to pass it through here. And let Nathan do a clove hitch. Here, take that one. And do a clove hitch. On which one? Just um, you can do it right here. You just right. basically you just need to tie, tie the knot so it doesn't come on there. So whatever it's easier for you. Okay, this should go many different ways. There you go. Toss over it. Right. And what requirement is this? This is requirement first class 3D, I believe. Well, tripod lashing, useful scout. Not campy, I did. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And now we need to take a rock from it. Perfect. Now you gotta tie a rock to it. Somebody find a rock. <laughs> you don't have to tie a rock to it. <laughs> I found the perfect rock. Tie it. Look at that. No, it's not. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> we just had a storm blowing again. It's kind of going sideways. Thanks God for the pavilion. This would really suck. We're camping though. No indoors for us. We're doing lashings. We're working on our fifth lashing, which is going to be diagonal. You don't need to hear me. These guys are still going crazy. Here we go. The wind just changed it, it's just straight up blowing. I'm hoping my hammock stays dry. It is really coming down. What? Quite a bit of rain today. Awesome looking out here. I've never seen a creek this high. Just suck you right down. It was over a little while ago, but it's finally coming back under now. Sun's out. God, it feels good. It was like 50 to 40 degrees and rainy. Pretty cool.
You can hear that wind is whistling, can't you guys? Yeah. Are you guys enjoying that food? You guys enjoying it? I can't hear it. So much num num. A little sloppy joe. Some uncooked macaroni. <laughs> How's the cleaning crew doing? This was a cheap spoon. That was a cheap spoon. Oh, poor Henry. Man, everyone's picking on Henry all the time. They're working. They're working. That's good. Sloppy Joe and mac and cheese is not an easy cleanup. Yeah, you know what it makes? It makes a mess. It makes a mess. <laughs> I think they should have done quesadillas tonight and sloppy joe at lunch. <laughs> 8 degrees, he's cleaning it up. Yep. What's that? I didn't know there were cookies. Yes, there's cookies after the cleaning of the fruit. <laughs> I'll start trying to get more text messages. <laughs>